In tutorial 22, I transmitted the message Hello World every 60 seconds using the sketch TTN OTA My Demo. At the end of that video, I asked the question, do I comply with the Etsy duty cycles and the Things Network fair access policy if I keep running the sketch for a day? In this tutorial, I will answer that question and I also will explain what the transmission time interval is and how it is calculated. In this tutorial, I will only focus on the Etsy duty cycles and in particular, the duty cycles which applies in Europe. Please do your own research and check which duty cycle regulations, if any, applies to your country. In tutorial 11, I have explained that Etsy divides the 863 to 870 MHz band into five subbands G, G1, G2, G3, and G4, and each subband has different constraints in terms of EIRP, duty cycle, and channel bandwidth, as you can see in this table. Here is a better overview. You can see the different subbands and the corresponding duty cycles. This slide is already discussed in tutorial 11. In tutorial 22, I have demonstrated how to transmit the message Hello World every 60 seconds. The metadata displayed in the Things Network console during the demonstration can be found at this location. The relevant metadata can be found in this table, such as frequency and data rate. As mentioned in tutorial 11, an end device changes channel in a pseudo-random fashion for every transmission. In Europe, for uplink transmissions, eight different frequencies are used. And here is the proof. The frequency changes for every transmission and all eight frequencies are used. These eight uplink frequencies. In Europe, for all eight frequencies, the duty cycle is 1%. This means the total allowed uplink time on air is 864 seconds per day per device. And please note a day has 86,400 seconds. The Things Network fair access policy is there to make sure that the community network is not abused by large deployments and applies to all of the community network. More information about the Things Network Fair Access Policy can be found at this location. If you scroll down, you can find the Things Network Fair Access Policy here. The Things Network Fair Access Policy limits the data each end device can send by allowing an average of 30 seconds uplink time on air per day per device and at most 10 downlink messages per day, including the acknowledgements for confirmed uplinks. Compared to the Etsy duty cycles of 1%, the Things Network Fair Access Policy is more restrictive because it only allows an average of 30 seconds uplink time on air per day per device. This is equivalent to a duty cycle of 0.0347%. If you look at this picture, for every transmission, there is a waiting period, which is called the transmit time interval and the message time on air. N is the number of transmissions within a day. Based on this picture, you can create this equation, the transmit time interval plus the time on air, times the number of transmissions within a day, equals 86,400 seconds. This equation can be rewritten like this. The definition of a duty cycle is this. A duty cycle is the fraction of one period in which a signal or system is active. In this picture, the period is a whole day. So the duty cycle is the number of transmissions times the time on air divided by 86,400. The time on air is the time the message is being transmitted. This is example one. If the duty cycle is 1% and the time on air is 0.05 seconds, the transmit time interval is 4.95 seconds. This is example two. 
if the total uplink time on air is 30 seconds per day per device and the time on air is 0.05 seconds, then first you calculate the duty cycle, which is 0.00034722. The transmit time interval will be 143.95 seconds. So the question was, do I comply with the Etsy duty cycles and the Things Network Fair Access policy if I keep running the TTN OTA My Demo sketch for a day? Please note, in the sketch, the transmit time interval was set to 60 seconds. As you can see, the transmit time interval is set to 60 seconds. So here is the answer. I only need to focus on the Things Network Fair Access Policy because it is more restrictive. The Things Network Fair Access Policy uses a total uplink time on air of 30 seconds per day per device. The time on air was 82.432 milliseconds. As you can see here. First we calculate the duty cycle. And then we can calculate the transmit time interval, which is 237.32 seconds. So yes, I will break the Things Network Fair Access policy. In the TTN OTA My Demo sketch, the transmit time interval is set to 60 seconds, but it should be 238 seconds. The above mentioned calculated transmit time interval does not change as long as the payload length and data rate does not change. So let's assume the following situation. My gateway went down and the nearest gateway my end device can send messages to is 5 kilometers away. So the data rate changes to spreading factor 12, bandwidth is 125 kilohertz. The code rate and the payload length remains the same. So what is the new transmit time interval when using the things network? First we calculate the time on air using this online tool. The spreading factor is 12, the bandwidth is 125 kilohertz, the coding rate is 4 over 5, the payload length is 13 bytes, preamble length is 8, and the explicit header and CRC are enabled. The time on air is 1155.07 milliseconds, and we can send a message every 1 minute and 56 seconds. But please note, this transmit time interval is based on a duty cycle of 1%. The Things Network Fair Access Policy uses a total uplink time on air of 30 seconds per day per device. Again, we calculate the duty cycle. And now we can calculate the transmit time interval. This is a time on air we calculated with the online tool. And this is the calculated transmit time interval. This means for every message transmitted, we have to wait 55 minutes and 25 seconds before we can transmit again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.